Hi guys, Russell here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, before we get started, a couple quick things. I'm going to be using a .png file here with a transparent background. And in Blender, you're going to want to go up to the Edit Preferences menu and enable the built-in add-on called Image as Planes. So Edit Preferences, Add-ons, Search Image. You should see Image as Planes. Make sure to check the little check mark box here and click Save Preferences. Okay, so go to File, Import now, and select Image as Planes. You're going to want to navigate to the image of your choice. In this case, this is just a little sticker I made in uh, GIMP, a free editing software. Okay, so just going to press 1 on the numpad, and we're going to scale down just to make sure that this sticker fits onto the uh, gray ring we have here. You can see that the sticker is a flat plane, whereas the ring does have a curved surface to it. So to stick this sticker on, we're going to make use of uh, the shrink wrap modifier over on the right, going to the modifier panel and down to shrink wrap. Then under the target menu, you can use the eyedropper here and just select uh, the surface that you'd like to adhere the sticker to. In this case, this is the gray ring. So we can see that the sticker is still flat. It's not following the curvature of the gray ring, and that's because there are not enough vertices on the plane. So to remedy that, I'm just going to tab into edit mode and select subdivide. And we're going to go to the maximum number of cuts, which in this case is 10. When you press enter, you're going to see that the image now is following the curvature of the gray ring. But we can't see it yet, so you want to go over to the mode menu on the side. You can pick outside surface and increase the offset to something small like 0 0.001. So we can see there's a little bit of clipping still going on. So in that case, I'm going to tab back into edit mode, right click and subdivide again. And with a little bit more geometry there, you can see the sticker looks pretty good. Now an alternate method here is using the snap to face and project individual elements method. This method does rely on the camera view. I like to use these in conjunction with each other, so I'm just pressing 1 on the numpad tab into edit mode, A to select all, and then G to move, and it will move them onto the surface of the gray ring snap to face. So the shrink wrap will help in that if you make any edits to the gray ring surface, it will stay stuck to that surface. Okay, so you can play around with the roughness here if you'd like, make the sticker a little bit shinier. I'm just going up to the object menu and shading smooth because it's a little bit faceted. And if you're having problems with the transparency of your image, you can go down to the settings here on the right and play with the blend mode. Alpha blend will uh, make sure that the background is transparent, but you can see if you change it to opaque, it will turn black. Also, if you have problems with shadows being cast, um, you can change the shadow mode to none. So there you have it. There's a simple way to uh, apply a decal to any surface of your choice. Hope that helps, guys. Thanks.